So Let's will that prove? On charger. So unlock it. Oh, okay. We just have to do this first. Before you install an EV wall charger, there are a couple of tips and tricks that I'd like to share with you. And this might be very helpful to you one in choosing the right EV wall charger and also some pitfalls to avoid. These tips and tricks might potentially help you in saving you hundreds of pounds or even hundreds of dollars, depending on the country you're watching from. And also this might potentially help you or save you from future EV charging headaches. So stay true to the end and let me walk you through this. When an electrician arrives at a property, the very first thing to check is a fuse board. And they are checking three things. One is available capacity for a seven kilowatt watt charger. They are also checking for earthing and bonding. And the last thing the electrician will be checking for is the space for a dedicated circuit. If your home cannot support it, don't worry. An EV watt charger can still be installed with a load management and sometimes some homes might definitely require a fuse board upgrade. So everyone has been asking what's the actual cost of EV watt charger installation and I'll say realistically the price varies. Uh, you could pay between £500 to £1,300 depending on the EV charger you've selected. You pay additional or you pay extra if your fuse board is farther away from your driveway which means you'll be needing additional cable. You might also be paying extra if you need any sort of consumer units upgrade. The total cost for my EV watt charger was £1,300. £1,200 for the device and installation then I paid additional £100 for the extra cable required because my fuse board is farther away from my driveway so I had to pay additional 5 meters which cost me £100 so that's a total of £1,300 for the installation and the device. <music> There are a couple of mistakes that I know some EV owners make, especially when they are trying to install an EV watt charger. And trust me, most of these mistakes are avoidable. The very first mistake is installing your EV watt charger farther away from where your vehicle is located. I think it's important to plan for the longest cable reach and not just the perfect parking spot because one day you might have to park differently. The second mistake that I've seen some EV owners make when they are installing their EV watt charger is not or is ignoring future proven. Are you planning to get a second EV? Then I think it's logical to plan for a location where the two cars can be charged. Another mistake that I've seen some EV owners make when they are installing their EV watt charger is choosing the wrong cable length. Some people, including myself, would go for a five meters cable length because it's cheaper. But if I have to do it again, eight meters seems more practical. The electrician will also look at your cable route from your fuse board to the outside wall, drilling, running conduit, and ensuring that the cable is protected from damage. And if your cable run is more than 10 meters like mine, then expect to pay additional cost. A question that I get all the time is, do I need an updated fuse board if I'm installing an EV wall charger? And I would say, not always, but if your home has an old fuse board or your wiring is outdated, or peradventure you have a limited spare capacity, then an updated fuse board is recommended. And trust me, it's safer long term. So how fast can you charge with your own EV wall charger? Most UK EV wall charger will give you about 7.4 kilowatts, which equals about 30 miles of range per hour. You also get overnight charge and it's much faster than my three pin charger. To save money, I think it's important to switch to an EV friendly tariff. You can charge your EV for as little as 7p per kilowatt hours, but that depends on your provider. I've been charging my EV for 
7p per kilowatt hour as an off-peak period. And also, if you're interested in switching to Octopus Energy Smart Tariff, then I'll leave my referral link in the description box and you can also take advantage of it. Before you choose an EV watt charger, there are a couple of important things that I think you need to know because not all EV watt chargers support the smart tariff. And that's a smart tariff that would save you money on charging in the long run. First, check whether the charger supports smart tariff. Smart tariffs like the Intelligence Octopus or OVO Charge Anytime allow you to charge your car, your EV, during the cheapest off-peak hours automatically. But here's the catch. Not all EV wall chargers support smart tariff. Brands like Hypervolt, Omin, Wallbox, and a few others support smart tariff integration. That means the charger can communicate directly with your energy provider to schedule the cheapest charging windows. But even if your charger doesn't support smart tariffs, you can still use a smart tariff. The difference is your car's API needs to be supported by the energy company's smart tariff system. For example, Tesla typically integrates well with most tariff platform because their API is widely supported. Other brands might vary. If you're researching chargers and want a reliable one that supports smart tariffs, clean installation, great application controls, and UK-based support, then I recommend Hypervolt. Check the referral link in the description if you are thinking about getting one. It helps the channel and might save you some money. Yeah, he's back on. Yeah. yeah. Have you got your wall for details to hand? Yeah, let me just hand it over to you. Yeah, here's it. Thank you, Gip. You're welcome. Have you downloaded this app? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Um. Have you just got to find my charger? Yes, don't I have. Don't go ready. Don't go. Just stop there. Just oh, stop okay, there. Okay, Let me. I'm gonna do more of it first, and then it's all done to you. Okay. So do you recommend Hypervolt as uh, the best EV charger or? Well, they've each got their own pros and cons, to be fair. Like this, if you've got poor Wi-Fi, this is not the one for you. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, say if you've got, if this was a good 100 yards up there and your Wi-Fi won't reach, then this is, that's just oh, negative. Okay. That's probably its only downfall, is that? Yeah, because I've read a lot of reviews about it and it seems to hit the, the good spot. A lot of people like it. Oh, this is probably one of the main ones. Probably the most ones I've fitted is these. Okay. They're, to be fair, they look the best. To be fair. Oh, okay. So in case the, the Wi-Fi is poor, well, I might have to get a booster. But yeah. usually I get Wi-Fi on my phone from this spot, so I should be able to get Wi-Fi for the charger. Yeah, you should charger. Do. What, You just don't need to be. You see how it is like this now? Yeah. Oh, now, now that means it's online. Oh, you know really? it was white flashing. That means it's offline. So as long as it never goes like that, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. But to be fair, yeah, just, Thank it you. does say, when I connected to it, it said uh, poor, but half the time it's not. It's just, I think they expect you to have bloody maximum speed, don't they? Yeah, I have a 150 megabyte per second. Uh, that's the upload speed. Up, upload speed. Yeah, it should be fine, to be fair. Yeah. It should be fine. That's good. Well then, so, if you go onto your app now. Okay. Okay, so I can f fire my charger. Yep, then it's that one. Okay, great. Just click that, and then it'll go tick, 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 tick. Next. Create. No. No. Finish. And then finish. Finish. Yeah. Okay, so that that's your home screen. Oh, that's okay. good. So the, the CT, I'll, I'll, I was on the bath, it uh, shows you on what you're pulling up from the grid. Oh, okay. Once that message Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> so look, that's so a team from work. Your house is pulling 0.1 kilowatt. So when we pull your, pull, plug your car in, that'll shoot up to oh, 7.7. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So you know what I mean? So that's about it. So as it is, it's plug and charged. So that's where you oh, see okay. the schedule. That's but I understand. It. Okay, that's to lock it. Can I lock oh. it to my vehicle alone so it doesn't charge the vehicle? Because I know some people might be very smart 
when you're not on the, the pull into your... Um, that's where you just do that. So you can't use that now. Oh, Only okay. you can off unlock this. Unlock it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's it. So if they try to plug it into the car... It wouldn't charge. It would say, uh, no, it'll ask you for permission. Basically. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, so that's it. And then uh, later on, you just got to put your house address. And okay. that's where you put your energy provider. Okay, okay, here, yeah, this admission that, that address. Week, yeah. And, yeah, but you can okay. do that after. Okay. We, I just want to see this charge your car. And then okay. you can do all that. Do I bring my char car in to see if it's going to charge or...? Yeah, I'll shift the van. I'll move the van, I'll put my van where your car is so you can put your car back. Okay, And then we'll just plug this in. Okay. And I'll, and I'll finish my cert then. And that's okay, it, that's right. it. That's all, all you need to know. Oh, that's, that's really it's nice. It's easy as possible. So let's get the car in and charge. So let's see if it's charging. So I know, I know it's only there, really, but yeah. make sure you unwrap all of this. Okay. okay. Just cause it'll overheat. So he's fully unraveled. Oh, okay. Okay, because if you do that, leave it like that. It'll it's going to avoid it. Yeah, it's just like an extension lead. You meant to. Uh... Okay. Right then, so if you go on your phone, it's flashing. Okay. I need to approve it. I also need to stick a phone in. So, so with that proof. On charger. So, unlock it. Oh, okay. We just have to do this first. Disable that. That just helps the grid. You know what I mean? So now we should see this go to about 7.7 .7 to 7.8. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's charging now. Oh, okay. Charging 0, 0.0 kilowatts hours. Okay, I can say it's moving up. So the maximum you can go is 7 kilowatts? 7.7 .7 to 7.8. That equals to 32 amps. Okay. So, so obviously a fully electric car takes that. A hybrid will take half. So it would take 3.8, mm. 16 amps. Okay. okay, great. Oh, this is nice. Well, obviously, in, in your little book, be, the different colours mean stuff. Okay. Oh. Basically, you don't want that to be red. What happens if it's red? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, something wrong with it, basically. Oh, okay. okay. So that one means it's charging. If it pulsates, it's waiting to charge. Blue is idle. Orange is locked. Okay, orange Purple is locked. Purple is our schedule. And yellow is if you have solar. You can use solar. Yeah, I have some solar, boys, uh, because I don't have an inverter, so, because I understand that solar, it's a uh, DC current, and I, I need to have a charger because, to be honest, I'm not quite sure of how it works. But I understand that I can't charge my vehicle at the moment with solar. Nah, because you need a home battery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it gets me. They put solar panels in, so you can't use your solar energy. Basically, because oh, okay. it will go into like a battery. Yeah, I'm trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to get a code for, you know, this Tesla wall charger. Yeah. Yeah. So, but should we doing that next year? Hopefully. Yeah, I'm, to be fair, I'll say about Tesla, I'm surprised you had a Tesla charger. Mm. But they were a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. A bit of a nightmare. They had their problems. Yeah, I understand. I wanted to go for the Tesla wall charger before, but I understand that it might not be supported with the uh, the smart tariff. So that's why I didn't go oh, for it. Yeah. Also, if you uh, just want to do with your internet as well, you got to you only support to 2.4 gigahertz. Ah. So if you haven't got a 2.4, that's, that's... the Tesla would not work. Yeah, I don't want to I, risk it. Someone's had that problem before that to get their internet changed. So. <sighs> oh. And then all I've got to do is finish my cert. Okay. Did you buy this charger through us? Yeah, how about it through? Yes, yeah, so you got three years warranty on that. Three years? Yeah. Okay. That cable in, but I've done, you get a year's warranty on that. And once you saw my phone, which is your cert, okay. it lasts five years.
And that's what really happens when you install an EV home charger, the checks, the cost, the mistakes, and what to look out for. If you're an EV owner, or you're just thinking about buying your very first EV, then subscribe because I'll be covering full installation cost breakdown, what to check before buying a used EV, smart tariff explain, and EV charging speed comparison. And again, if you want the hypervolt charger that I'm using, the referral link is in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.